what makes Professor Layton unique? It's not surprising that the DS library had a lot of puzzle games. From Brain Age to WarioWare to Picross, there are enough casual experiences to be had. With a touchscreen, it was a no-brainer to use the technology for the puzzle genre, but one series took it in a bit of a different direction. Professor Layton and the Curious Village was released in February 2007 in Japan and the following year in North America. Starring the intrepid duo of Herschel Layton and his sidekick, Luke Triton, the series was an instant hit with its first title alone selling over 5 million copies. This led to five more sequels, a crossover with the Phoenix Wright franchise, a mobile game, and even a feature-length animated movie. For a genre that seems so simple, it's become one of those lovable series that has captured the hearts of many fans around the world. What makes Professor Layton unique is how it introduces a storytelling framework that promotes the puzzle-solving nature of the game, while balancing its intriguing plot, making for a fun and exciting experience that targets a casual audience. There's no denying that the vast majority of the gameplay in Professor Layton is the puzzle solving. The types of puzzles range from math, to abstract, to visual, to even just simple brain teasers. It doesn't aim to have any defined theme for the puzzles, they're just simply thought provoking. Throughout the entirety of the game, players are met with hundreds of puzzles. Puzzle game fans would enjoy a game like this, but Professor Layton goes one step beyond that. It adds a story. While combing through the game to solve larger mysteries such as unexplainable deaths or peculiar findings, players will find themselves getting invested in the story. Although a series like Zero Escape similarly melds story and puzzle elements, Professor Layton tends to favor the puzzles over the story. This now hybrids the use of the puzzles. They can be story driven and strewn throughout the adventure to give the players this sense of solving a mystery, or they can be laying around in the world to fill in the gaps during an investigation. This is why this series got a crossover with Phoenix Wright. The game is essentially the investigation segments, but with many more things to do. Puzzle games are not normally very dialogue heavy, and visual novels, which can be beautifully well written, lack any sort of real gameplay or have this notable separation. The puzzles range in difficulty from simple to mind bending. A seasoned puzzle solver would enjoy every puzzle just for the casual fun, but it also progresses players through the game, which is different from typically action oriented adventure games. This is then coupled with one of the most lovable characters in video games. Herschel Layton makes the series what it is, for good reason. For a series to have a titular character, it needs to be someone that the audience can feel empowered to control, and yet iconic as a character. Nothing ever seems to phase this quizzical thinker. Even when faced with the most trying of challenges, the biggest mysteries, or even the supernatural, Layton holds composure and guides his companions and the players without pause. Layton is the kind of character that players can get behind. His subtle control of any situation makes the entire puzzle solving aspect more rewarding. His catchphrase, Every puzzle has an answer, brings this motivational message that players can live by and represents his low key badass attitude. It's not that the Layton series is just a fun puzzle game mixed with story elements, it's that the series actually hybrids the two perfectly. Other games separate their puzzle moments from their story moments, or are just 100% puzzles. Layton creates this mystery-driven narrative that allows the puzzles to fit seamlessly and don't break the flow of the game, even for puzzles that aren't required, which is why it's defined as a puzzle adventure game. With what may be the most charming protagonist in all of video games, it's interesting to see an adventure game that hinges on these constant puzzle solving elements, which can be as easy or as difficult as the player wants. It would almost be a visual novel, but it balances the puzzles so well that it has to be described as having gameplay. With lovable characters, enthralling stories, and fun casual gameplay to match, the series is unlike any other. And that is what makes Professor Layton unique. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, and if you'd like to see more videos that discuss what makes any video game stand out, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.